At first, you don't notice it. Your coffee cup feels just a little heavier. You sigh, probably just tired, but then your arms feel sore. Lifting your backpack, suddenly harder. By lunchtime, it's not just you. Gravity has changed. It's getting stronger and it's not stopping. What if gravity increased by 1% every hour? Forever. Let's break the laws of physics and see what breaks first. Today, Earth's gravity pulls everything toward its center at about 9.8 meters per second squared. It's what keeps your feet on the ground, holds oceans in place, and tells your body how much to weigh. But what if, starting now, gravity increases by 1% every hour? By tomorrow, it would be 2.4 times stronger. By next week, over 1,000 times stronger. This isn't just a weird gym workout. This is the slow motion end of the world. Hour one. You weigh 1% more, not a big deal. Athletes notice it. Jumps are shorter. Lifting feels harder. Hour six. You're 6% heavier. Your joints hurt. You walk slower. Your phone feels like a dumbbell. Elevators fail. They weren't built for increasing load. Planes take longer to lift off. Hour 12, 12% 12 more weight on every building, bridge, and car. Structural stress begins. Roofs creak. Skyscrapers shift. Emergency rooms fill with injuries from people falling harder, getting crushed under their own backpacks. You go to sleep hoping it's over. It's not. As gravity climbs, Ocean levels compress. The pressure at sea level increases, damaging marine life. Deep sea animals already under crushing force begin to collapse. Atmospheric pressure spikes. Breathing gets harder. Your lungs are working against more force. Altitude sickness starts to occur at lower elevations. Even birds struggle to fly. Tides shrink. Stronger gravity holds water down harder. Moon-based tide effects begin to weaken. At 24 hours, you weigh 27% more than yesterday. According to NASA, astronauts returning from microgravity lose bone density and muscle mass rapidly. Now reverse that. Under extreme gravity, blood pools in the lower body. Your heart must beat harder to push it up to the brain. Blood pressure spikes, strokes, heart attacks increase, spines compress, herniated discs, back fractures. Your height begins to shrink bones begin to break. Your femur can only support about 10 times your body weight statically. At 100% increased gravity, just 100 hours in, normal movement becomes fatal. Wheelchairs, oxygen tanks, exoskeletons become survival gear. Buildings aren't built to grow heavier every hour. Steel bends, concrete cracks, cranes collapse, roads buckle under their own weight. Bridges snap like twigs. Dams break from the added pressure of compacted water. Tunnels cave in. Subways are flooded with collapsed earth. Within 48 hours, cities begin to fail. And we haven't even reached a week yet. Now the planet begins to reshape itself. Tectonic plates shift under increased compression. Earthquakes increase, not in number, but in strength. Volcanoes erupt due to pressurized magma chambers. Mountain ranges begin collapsing under their own weight. And the Earth's core? Under extreme gravity, its heat output increases, potentially disrupting the geomagnetic field. Satellites start falling. Radiation levels spike. Animals begin to die. Birds fall from the sky. Insects can't fly. Grazing animals collapse from heart failure. Trees snap under their own trunks. Humans try to build underground bunkers with reinforced supports. But resources run out. No one can move freely. Human life begins to shrink, literally and socially. Only those with robotic assistance, oxygen systems, and gravity shelters survive. We think of gravity as just there. But gravity shapes your weight, your buildings, your blood circulation, your atmosphere, your planet. Too much gravity, you don't just fall down, you break. So what if gravity increased by 1% every hour? At first, you'd just drop your phone more. By day three, you'd be crushed by it. By day seven, there wouldn't be much left to hold down. Because the heavier the Earth gets, the faster life collapses.